Okay. So. I said we're first. I'm going to pronounce each of these words. Each of the synonym match words. Finding, uh -huh. regenerate, fresh, robust, uh -huh. unlimited, approximately, pure, anxiety, spots, profoundly. Number four uh -huh. is robust. Robust uh -huh. means strong and invigorating. Um, it means that it's quite impressive. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's what robust means. If we painted a car to give it a new look, so it has mm -hmm. a robust look. Or mm -hmm. if you're cooking, what is a favorite dish of yours? What is a favorite dish of yours? Meat. What type of meat? Is it chicken, beef, no, pork? Beef. Beef. Lamb, lamb, okay, lamb. lamb. All right. Yeah. So to make this lamb robust, we will add some ingredients like uh, spices and oils to make it robust, very tasty. Do you understand? Yeah. Please, could you please write down it? Uh, so I mean, I later check it. I sometimes forget. Okay. And two. Your no sample, please. Okay. I mean, I, okay. I'll send you the samples. I'm writing them down on a separate sheet, and I will send them to you. All right. Can can, can you write the um, short message part? Mm -hmm. Okay for you. Sure. Now we're going to look at the synonym match we'll quickly match those words up with the correct okay. words so for example finding okay. is going to be probably discovering finding yeah is find discover discovering okay yeah okay regenerate revitalize revitalize perfect okay fresh new fresh would be new mm -hmm. robust strong Strong, good. Unlimited, extremely. Okay. Pure. Um, well, let's just say unlimited is going to be inexhaustible, more than enough. Oh. Inexhaustible. Oh. Okay. okay. Approximately. Approximately. It's going to be close to, so in the region of, close to in a, region. in the region okay. of. Okay. What about cure? Remedy. Cure is remedy. Perfect. Anxiety. Anxiety worry. Worry. Good. Mm -hmm. Spots. Uh, patches. Perfect. Spots, patches. Patches. And profoundly. Yeah. And profoundly. Uh, Extremely uh, excessive. Uh, F. It's going to be F, extremely yeah, yeah. or excessive. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's true. That's true. Very good. All right, let's take a look now at the article itself, and we're going to read. I'll correct your um, pronunciation at the end of a section. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You may start when you're ready. Should I? Scientists say. Okay, I'm ready. Scientists say they believe they are close to finding pure for baldness. This is welcome news for millions of people worldwide who are losing their hair or who are bald. Okay, let's stop. Let's stop. Let's stop right there. So, scientists say they believe they are close to finding a cure for baldness. This is. Baldness. Mm -hmm. This is welcome news for millions of people worldwide, wor wor worldwide, who are losing worldwide. their hair mm -hmm. or who are bald. And if you notice, you can see the man has the face on his head without hair. This is bald without hair. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any questions about that so far? No. All right. Let's continue reading. Okay, researchers from a medical institute in California have been working on developing stem cells that can regenerate hair growth. Mm -hmm. The scientists say their technique has been successful in implanting and developing fresh growth in a way that 
replicates natural hair reproduction. Mm -hmm. Researchers, researcher uh, Alexei Tarski said, our new protocol overcomes key technological challenges. Now we have a robust eye control method for generating generating natural looking that hair grows through the skin using an unlimited source of human skin cells. Okay, now I will read the same and your reading and that was, that was good. Researchers from a medical institute in California have been working on developing stem cells that can regenerate hair growth. The scientists say their technique has been successful in implanting and developing fresh growth in a way that replicates natural hair reproduction. Researcher Alexei Terskais said, our new protocol overcomes key technological challenges. Now we have a robust, highly controlled method for generating natural looking hair that grows through the skin using an unlimited source of human stem cells. All right, any questions about this paragraph, this part of the paragraph? Well, I generally understand about stem cells, which what can it be? It's cell of which part, I don't know, it's a technical term, I think. I think, um, I think when we talk about human stem cells, in the human body, we know that there are cells that make up the human mm -hmm. body. And let's just think that maybe each one of these cells have a little bit of a tail, like a tadpole. I'm not really sure. Mm, okay. But this is more of a medical, okay, okay. medical term. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, so we know now that the researchers have found a way to increase the follicles. Follicles are, if you pulled out one strand of your hair, it would have a little tail or a stem or a bump on it. But the, the thing here is the researchers have found a way to grow single strands of hair. That's what it sounds like to me. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. The next paragraph. Mm -hmm. The last one, baldness. Baldness, baldness affects approximately half or half of men worldwide, worldwide by the age of 50. Products for hair replacement and hair trans, transplant, transplants mm -hmm. have developed into a multi-billion dollar global industry. Okay, so we're going to call this multi, 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 multi. Multi. Multi billion. Mm -hmm. Multi billion dollar global industry. A transplant surgery can cost up to fifty thousand dollars. Scientists uh, have been looking on finding a cure for decades. The process of hair loss usually begins in men and they are in their early twenties or thirties. Okay, let's see this they word is decades. De decades. 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 Mm -hmm. Decades. Okay, not not D, not decades. A long, long a de, long e, de, decades. Decades. Mm -hmm. Decades. Right. Okay. Mm, these or so this this can lead to anxiety and a lot of self confidence. Many men worry about receding. Receding. Receding, which means to reduce. Mm -hmm. Or go back, mm -hmm. receding. Reduce. Ah, reduce. Okay, receding. Mm -hmm. Receding hair lines, both spots and baldness. Baldness is also a problem for women. Many women suffer from thinning hair like later in life. A doctor said hair loss profoundly affects many people's life, lives. Okay. So we have multi-billion dollar decades and receding. So the scientists have, they believe that men, approximately half of the men worldwide by the age of 50 have lost a good portion of their hair. And this is a global industry in terms of money. Uh, mm -hmm. They've been working on trying to find a cure for baldness for decades, meaning hundreds of years. And mm -hmm. we know that 
many men worry as they age about a receding hairline. And this recession or receding also affect women, okay? Now, mm -hmm. what we're going to practice doing, looking at the synonym match, look at those words one through 10, and think about the mm -hmm. article that you read. You can talk about things in this article or you can talk about things in general about anything else, but you'll, you're going to answer First, you're going to try to answer some questions. So let's take a look at uh, discussion student A. This is discussion mm -hmm. student A. Uh -huh. Well, let's, let's not look at A because it doesn't matter what you think. Well, let's find out. Let's do, what do you think about what you just read? Try to use some of the words that you have in the synonym mm -hmm. match. Don't summarize the article. Just tell me what do you think about what you read? Mm -hmm. Or I can tell you what I would say. I would say something like this. I found the article very interesting and I didn't mm -hmm. know approximately uh, half the men worldwide lose their hair by age 50. I found that very interesting and I can understand that men might become anxious or have anxiety when there isn't mm -hmm. a cure for the loss of their hair. So that was something that I thought about as I was listening to you read and I read the article. So what do you think about what you read? Um, yeah, uh, the article is about, uh, about um, a universal uh, problem <laughs> or what can I say? Uh, yeah, really, there are many men around me, uh, like my husband. Mm -hmm. uh, he, he's in his early 40s. Mm -hmm. He's lost lots of uh, his hair. Mm -hmm. uh, he says that it's not so big deal, but I'm sure that if he had uh, his hair, it would be. Um, would be uh, happier. Oh. Um, okay. All right. Yeah, so, yeah. okay, let's go on to B. Let's go on to B because I still want you to have different ideas and address different questions. So, why does baldness affect mainly men? The answer is not in the article, it's from your head. Why do you think baldness affects mainly men? Because naturally, we have hairs on some part of our bodies and losing this, losing something on your body uh, and bonus uh, looks bonus looks people more older. Uh, okay, bonus, bonus, bonus makes older. people appear older. Makes people, yeah, appear makes older. people appear older. Make people look older and it's not a good thing. Okay. And here is what the question though. The question is, why does baldness affect mainly men? And it could be that you really don't know. Because I don't know why baldness affects mainly men. All right, let's go to letter C. What do you think of men mm -hmm. in their late teens going bald? What is your opinion? What do you think about that? Late teens. Late teens. I can't get the question. Why do you okay, okay, what do you think of men? What do you think of men in their late teens going bald? So an answer for me would be my opinion of late teens, I can't I can get late teens. What does it mean? Late okay, teens. 18, 19 years of age. Uh -huh. So okay. those are their late teens. And so my opinion would be that they probably feel older, they feel that their age, their appearance. They may feel that they are not as attractive. Mm -hmm. what do you, no, what do I think? I think men that are going bald may not feel as handsome as they did when they had a head full of hair. So what, is, what do you mm -hmm. think of men in their late teens? You may find them attractive. I think men that are in no. their late teens without hair is attractive. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't find. And also maybe um, in their late teens, uh, losing hair equals nice man does. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, yeah okay. I'm getting older and 
Okay. All right. Let's look at let's look at uh, scroll down and do you see where it says role play? It's either yellow, pink, blue, or yeah. I want I want you to choose one of those. I want you to choose balding, wrinkles, bad back, or memory loss. Just choose one, and then I want you to talk for maybe a minute about one of those. Uh, I'll take memory loss, the worst one. Okay, so could you read it first? Okay, yes, seeing memory loss is the worst problem of aging. Tell the, tell the others three reasons why. Tell them why their problems aren't so bad. Also, tell the others which is the most manageable of these wrinkles, uh, bad back, or balding. Okay. Uh, what are those which is most manageable? Hmm, manageable. So we can do something to uh, fix it. Mm -hmm. Which one can you? Which one can you control? Which one can you fix? Bad back is uh, something on your back. Uh, okay. A bad back. Okay, would, a bad back would be someone who has gotten older and their back is bent, and they walk with a bent back. Usually, they walk with a walker or a cane. They cannot sit up straight. They, they, they can uh, stand like this. They are like that. That's correct. They're bent over. Mm -hmm. Bent over. Okay, thank you. I think the wrinkles are the um, most innocent one uh, and most manageable mm -hmm. uh, of this because uh, wrinkle, wrinkles um, we can use moisturizers and drink water or eat something, some fresh things. It can help you, or you can make up and mm -hmm. show yourself uh, more beautiful, more attractive. And it's the uh, easiest one, I think. That is our worst, I think. Okay. And why is the mem why is memory loss the worst of all of them? Memory loss is because it's, I think, it's the most dangerous one. Because if you lose your loss, the memory, you lose your memory, mm -hmm. uh, you can be in danger, you can have an accident, you can maybe you can find your home. Or um, I thought about this issue before. Uh, if you don't remember your family members or friends mm. or neighborhood or your memories, this is I think this is very bad. Um, Okay. It means it means losing your life. Okay. Too bad. So let's go back up to look at the synonym matches. All right. Mm -hmm. And your opinion is that memory loss is the worst that could happen to an individual. So with yes. that said, we're going to look at the ten words and try to use them. In my opinion, memory loss is the worst of the disease. One, there may not be a cure for memory loss, and it does cause anxiety. While a person may feel, may find it difficult to remember a lot of things, and not having a cure, such as being able to regenerate ideas, thoughts, concepts because of maybe lack of medicine. Mm -hmm. That would be one of the reasons and that is the reason I would have chose that is the reason that I chose memory loss as the worst one. So I try to use anxiety, cure, regenerate and finding in my discussion. Mm -hmm. right. So it's this type of lesson we will work with this lesson again. And we'll be developing vocabulary conversation on these 10 words. All right? Mm -hmm.